So you're thinking of moving to Fort Worth, Texas. In this video, we're going to show you around Weatherford, Texas, which is west of Fort Worth and serves as the county seat for Parker County. Then we're going to take you through some neighborhoods and show you different price points for different houses so you can see what will fit your budget. If you stick around to the end, we'll show you America's longest floating boardwalk. You don't want to miss that. So let's get started. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything about living in Fort Worth, subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market in Fort Worth. My name is Wendy Mama with Relocating to Fort Worth, Texas, and I'm a local realtor. We get calls and emails every day from people just like you hoping to make their move to Fort Worth, and we absolutely love it. Whether you are moving in six days, 60 days, or six months, Give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. All of that contact information is in the description below, so you can make a smooth move to Fort Worth. As I mentioned, we are in Weatherford, Texas. I am standing in front of the Weatherford Courthouse, which was completed in 1897. It is built in a Romanesque revival architectural style, featuring limestone, exterior, intricate carvings, and a clock tower. It stands as a prominent symbol of Weatherford's history and architectural heritage. Weatherford was established in 1854 by pioneers who settled in the area. It was located near the Chisholm Trail, so it was an important stop for cattle drives in the late 1800s, which helped develop Weatherford's trade and commerce. In 1856, Weatherford became the county seat of Parker County and the arrival of the Texas and Pacific Railroad in 1880 further boosted the city's economy. Weatherford's downtown area was preserved, many of its historic buildings, and it's a popular tourist destination. It is known for its charming shops, including many antique shops and boutique shops, uh, restaurants, and it also Weatherford also has annual events such as the Parker County Peach Festival in July, the first Monday trade days, and the Weatherford Farmer's Market, which is held on Saturdays, and vintage market days. Weatherford is also home to Weatherford College, which was founded in 1869, and that played a significant role in Weatherford's cultural and intellectual development. It is actually the oldest community college um, that's been in continuous existence in the Southwest. They service over 5,700 students. And Weatherford has continued to grow and expand and attract new businesses and new industries while still preserving its small town charm. According to Niche.com, it has a population of 30,385 people and I think all of them are driving by as I'm recording this video, even though it's a Saturday morning and I thought it wouldn't be busy, but I guess I was wrong. So as you move out from the city center, it offers kind of a residential, sparse, suburban feel. So you can still feel like you're living in a rural area, but you're only about a 20 to 25 minute commute back to Fort Worth if you work there. And it's only about 45 to 60 minutes uh, back to the DFW airport if you need to fly out. There are many families and young professionals who live in Weatherford and the residents tend to be conservative. The median home value is $221,700. 66% of people own their homes here. The median household income is just under $70,000. I have one more thing to show you in this downtown area, so let's go over there and check it out. Behind me, you'll see a life-size bronze of a cutting horse on the lawn of Weatherford's Chamber of Commerce. Weatherford is also the cutting horse capital of the world due to its close proximity to the National Cutting Horse Association and being the home to dozens of Hall of Fame trainers, 
and hundreds of the best horses in the industry. So what is cutting? Cutting is the process of separating a single cow from the herd and keeping it from going back to the herd. This is done sometimes if the cow is sick and they need to look at it or if they just need a routine medical assistance. One thing that's great about this area is you can find tons of Western or English apparel, equipment, saddles at uh, Teskey's, which is just further west from here. And um, we'll kind of show you a little bit about that. I'll take some pictures and kind of insert it here. So. Weatherford also has more than 60 historic homes that are century old Victorian, Queen Anne, and Greek Revival homes. They were all built on a tree lined avenues where horse drawn carriages used to carry the, the pillars of the community down those streets. So before we go on our neighborhood tours, I just want to show you two historic homes. And the first one will be the home of famous Broadway actress and singer, Mary Martin, who was born in the particular house I'm going to show you and lived there as a child. And then the second home was also one of her homes, and it was built around 1918. It's also a home where her son, Larry Hagman, lived and grew up. And Larry Hagman played J.R. Ewing, the uh, villain in the famously popular TV primetime soap opera Dallas. So let's head over there and show you those two homes. Okay, I decided these historic homes are just too beautiful. I'm going to walk around a little and show you some as I get up to Mary Martin's childhood home that she was born in. These houses are just absolutely beautiful. I love them. And they've been very well preserved. Here's another one across the street. Beautiful. Look at that paint job on there. I love it. All right, and then here's the house that Mary Martin uh, was born in and raised in for a time. Another beautiful, beautiful paint job. These are so well preserved. More beautiful homes. Let's zoom up here a little. A lot of these have been well preserved, but some of them I think you could buy and uh, do the work yourself to preserve them or remodel them. Here we go. I even love the Tom Sawyer picket fence here. And got to look at the rock work on this. Got the sun out of the way so you can see the gorgeous rock work here. Love it. Petrified wood even in the Texas Star there. Look at that. Amazing. Here we go, some more. We're about to come up in a minute on a just unbelievably huge uh, one of these houses, historic homes. Absolutely beautiful Victorian style. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I used to live in a Victorian home in Kerrville, which it was a modern home. Not a historic one, but this one makes me pretty nostalgic for that. So we're about to get a good view after we get past these trees. I'm gonna open up right here. Oh man, look at that. Look at that, look at those trees. The backyard of this house is absolutely beautiful too. Even though you're in the middle of town, you kind of have your own little private oasis. Awesome. All right, and here's the house that Larry Hagman, a.k.a. J.R. Ewing, lived for part of his time that he was here in Weatherford. All right, here we are in our first neighborhood in our tour of Weatherford. We are very close to downtown here. The houses in this neighborhood were built around 2005 to about 2013. 
The square footage of these houses is about 1,400 square feet to about 2,000 square feet. They have a little larger lot sizes at about 0.2 acres. So I'm going to take you around the corner to the next house that's for sale and then after that we'll do a little drive through of the neighborhood. All right, here we are at this house. It's listed for $310,000. It was built in 2013. It's just under 1,500 square feet. It's a three bedroom, two bath house. It's listed at $210 per square foot. It has family room with vaulted ceilings, a fully stoned wood burning fireplace, tile floors, granite countertops in the kitchen, stainless steel appliance, and a 10 by 16 storage shed. So let's go around now and drive through the neighborhood. All right, here we are on our second home and our tour of Weatherford. This neighborhood is a new neighborhood. Uh, houses were built in around 2018 to presently. These houses have larger lots, about a quarter to three quarters of an acre. The homes have brick and stone exterior, so you have great uh, curb appeal. It's just off the Rick Williamson Memorial Highway, so once that's completed, you'll have an even shorter commute back to Fort Worth, so that'll be really great. Uh, this house that we're about to come up on, it's right here, was built very recently in 2022. It's on the market for 490000 It's just over 2,500 square feet. It's a four-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath one living, two dining rooms, and it's on a quarter of an acre. It has crown molding throughout the house, has arched windows and doorways, has French doors to the study, an open floor plan, and a large kitchen island, and a butler's pantry. So it's really a very attractive house, and having that quarter of an acre lot is just really good, especially for young families. So let's go and we'll drive you around this neighborhood and kind of show you what it's like around here.
All right, here we are in our third house in our tour of Weatherford. We're just a little west of Weatherford. These houses all are on one to four acre lots. The houses were built around 1999 till around 2018. Uh, they're two to about 4,000 square feet. They're custom built homes. They're stone and brick exterior. And I'm going to cross the road here and show you the house that we're going to be talking about. I'll give you kind of a view of that. All right, I kind of had to move along so I didn't have the sun glaring at you. But this house behind me was built in 1999. It's being listed for 710000 It is 3,000 square feet. That's listed at $235 per square foot. This house is on three and a half acres. It's a three bedroom, three bath, two living room, two dining room house. It's got a pool in the back and it also has, they've built a guest home that is another 500 square feet that isn't in that um, 300 we talked about a minute ago. It's fenced, it's got an outdoor kitchen and it's just kind of a, just your own quiet little piece of the country here. All right, so we are at our bonus fourth house in our tour of Weatherford. And this we came out to this house to show you what pure country living is like. This house has 11.6 acres, but in fact, on our way to this house, we literally had to pull off the road because they were doing a cattle drive down the highway, uh, not even highway, just down this little farm road here. And it's the annual Parker County cattle drive for the stock show and rodeo. So I'm going to show you some footage of that real quick and then we'll come back to this house. Here we have the once a year cattle drive for the Parker County stock show and rodeo. Hello, how are you guys? Good, you're looking great. <laughs> Maybe this will help your house sale. Oh yeah, if it were mine, not mine though. <laughs> you guys have a great day. Good morning, how are you? Good, good. 
This house is listed at $850,000. It's got just over 2,000 square feet. It's a three bedroom, two and a half bath, two living area, one dining room house. It's on the market for $413 per square foot. And that's because it's got this uh, lovely, absolutely beautiful 11.6 acres property. This house is outside the city limits, so that's great. You don't have to pay any city property tax. It does have an ag exemption, so that saves you a lot of money as well. In the back, back here, you can see that red barn. That's a new three-stall barn. And then they also have a two-stall paddock. Uh, their property taxes are only about $5,000. This property is fully fenced. And it also has an open arena. The house itself has wraparound porches, so you can sit back and enjoy watching your horses. Uh, the upstairs has two primary bedrooms. So if you're really wanting to live here in Weatherford and have a true uh, rural um, kind of feel to your living where you have some land, this is an, ex this is an example of something you, you could get. And we can't really drive you through the neighborhood because we're out in the country. So we'll just show you a couple houses that are around here so you can kind of get a feel for what else is out here. This is the neighbor's house just across the street. And we'll show you a couple more. As promised, we are here on the longest floating boardwalk in the United States. This is located on the northern end of Lake Weatherford. The entire boardwalk and trail is about 4,313 feet long, so just under one mile. And it's a perfect park for enjoying nature and listening to the sound of the water, bird watching, fishing, just resting on some of the benches and enjoying nature. This park, uh, it opens up in the beginning back here. It's kind of in the trees and then it opens up to where you see all these lily pads. They're starting to bloom. They bloom um, around June, late June and early July. So we're a little ahead of that. We'll try to find some pictures we have of when they were in full bloom. Uh, Weatherford has many parks where you can hike and bike and they even have some mountain biking parks um, so if you like getting out then Weatherford has a lot to offer for you and remember whether you're moving in six days 60 days or six months give us a call shoot us a text or send us an email all that contact information is down below in the description and until next time well we hope to take you around town